In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate with the diocese, the Archdiocese of Westminster, with uh, all the pilgrims that are normally coming here in Lloyd's during this uh, summer time. They come here to Lloyd's to pray to Our Lady. Normally they bring sick people, they bring young people, they bring priests, Cardinal Nichols and some bishops from Westminster are also coming. Over the time many of them became friends. I would like to name in a very special way Father Dennis, the pilgrimage director, but also the president of the Hospitalité. They're coming here to encounter the Lord so that it would be a time of grace. This year they are not unable to come they're prevented because of the COVID virus. But uh, here we stand for them and with them. And I'm going to light a candle to show how present they are here at the grotto. The candle will burn during all the day for them showing that uh, they're very much present in our heart and before a lady. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant we pray that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him. Where are you? he asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden, he replied. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you that you were naked? he asked. Have you been eating of the tree I forbade you to eat? The man replied. It was the woman who put with me. She gave me the fruit and I ate it. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What is this you have done? The woman replied, The serpent tempted me and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, be a curse beyond all cattle, all wild beasts, you shall crawl on your belly and eat dust every day of your life. I will make you enemies of each other, you and the woman, your offspring and her offspring. It will crush your head and you will strike its heel. The man named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all those who live. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around about him. Justice and judgment are the foundations of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes around about. His lightning illumines the world, the earth sees and trembles. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice and all people see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the things of naught. All gods are prostrate before him. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. have received a spirit of adoption as sons through which we cry Abba Father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph 
of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favored. The Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Know this too, your king's woman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people call the barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary, let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. This is the gospel of the Lord. Dear friends from the Archdiocese of Westminster, dear friends who are in Lloyd's, there will be a homily delivered to you by an auxiliary bishop of Westminster. St. Bernadette loved this place, as we all do. Years after she left Lourdes, she used to say, I wish I could just fly to Lourdes in a balloon and be at the grotto. In many ways, our virtual pilgrimage has been just like that. With Bernadette, we've journeyed in our hearts back to Lourdes, imagining ourselves to be there, right back there on pilgrimage. I hope this pilgrimage will have served to deepen your affection for the place. Now at journey's end, pray to Bernadette that you might return and ask her meanwhile, to journey every day with you. I call on Bernadette every single morning. I ask her to hold me close to Jesus and Mary and to help me live this day for them. Over many years, I had the privilege of visiting Bernadette's convent in Nevers. It's there you can see her body. You can sit in the room where she died. She died not in bed, but sitting in a chair by the fire. You can still see the fireplace. That room is now a chapel. It was while I lingered in these places that I felt her saying to my heart, let me look after you, let me look after you. So I do. I ask her to look after me every day. Dear Bernadette, she suffered so much. You know, Our Lady told her, you will suffer much in this life, but not in the next. In Nevers, you can see the room where she received her mission. It's a large community room. She'd completed her novitiate, and the day had come for each of the newly professed to be told their mission. It was the bishop who came to tell each sister which part of the world she was going to be sent to. Bernadette was the last to be addressed. Looking down on her, because she was very small, the bishop said, As for you, Sister Mary Bernard, because that was her new name. As for you, Sister Mary Bernard, you are good for nothing. So your mission will simply be to remain here to assist in the infirmary. It was a terrible shock to her to be told, you are good for nothing, good for nothing. But with typical courage, she embraced her new calling. She gave herself as generously as she possibly could to helping the sisters who were ill. Many attested after her death 
to her generosity and tenderness. It was just another knock, really. She'd already had the trauma of people not believing she'd seen Our Lady. When she began her new life in Nevers, she experienced the hurt of sisters telling her she'd never be a real religious. She must have found it easy to enter Our Lady's pain. The pain captured so vividly by the gospel we just heard. The gospel tells us of how, when the angel left Mary, even Joseph wouldn't believe her. I know no man, she assured him. The angel told me what I have conceived within me. I have conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit. Dear Joseph was so hurt that he was blinded by his pain. and He decided he must do the honourable thing and divorce her. I have the utmost respect for Joseph, but he must have left Mary feeling she was good for nothing either. That was why the angel had to intervene and tell him in a dream that what she had conceived, she had indeed conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit. It's good when we return to the grotto, be it in our dreams or in reality, to focus our gaze on Mary. That's why statues and images of the grotto invariably show Bernadette with her gaze set on Mary. It's how Bernadette would have wished it. You know, she hated celebrity. After the apparitions ended, people used to try and touch her in the street. They really are stupid, she used to say. She was a simple peasant girl and she could speak plainly. It was because of all the attention she was getting that she chose to leave Lourdes so that she could focus her gaze on Mary and Jesus. And that's what she'll be calling each of us to do as well. Focus your gaze on them. Ask Bernadette to help you see them. Gaze on them in your heart. See Mary's tenderness towards the little boy Jesus. Feel the love between the three of them, Mary, Jesus and Bernadette. Because all three of them are present with us when we come to the grotto. For some of us, they're intensely present. I had the privilege of being here all alone one winter's day, all alone. Can you imagine how wonderful it is to be the only person here? Then, as I was sitting here, two people came into view, an old man being pushed in a wheelchair by his grandson. They didn't see me, but they made their way silently to the back of the cave, and where the wall is wet, the young boy touched it with his hand, then rubbed his grandfather's head with water from the wall. Because the old man couldn't reach the wall, he'd obviously asked his grandson to reach it for him and allow himself to be blessed with water from Our Lady's spring. Because they couldn't see me, I took a surreptitious photo. It was such a beautiful scene. And when they'd gone, I texted the photo to my nephew, and he replied immediately, Ah, oh, Lord, the grotto, my favourite place in the whole world. Perhaps you feel the same. The grotto, your favourite place in the whole world. If it is, just close your eyes. Imagine yourself back there in your dreams and ask Bernadette to bring you back there one day, even if it's just in her imaginary balloon.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the world is the holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her, on account of your prevenient grace, to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through your intercession we may be delivered from all our faults, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stains of original sin, so that in her, in her endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son, and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride with a spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb, who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for you people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and made them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take these all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. 
Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most just spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Bernadette, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence will rely for your unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Pope Francis, Nicholas our Bishop, Antoine Irwan, his Buddha in Christ, the other our bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at the passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, though we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. United with the pilgrims from Westminster, at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, Peace. I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
It's a sweet. I don't have one. It's a sugar right now. Yes, Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which, in a singular way, you preserve Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
at the end of this Mass, I would like to thank very much Father Alexis for being with us. He's a, a new chaplain here. The first and the third. I had the privilege of being here now for six years. And so I've come to know many of you, many of the pilgrims from Westminster, as I said, uh, Cardinal Nichols, but also Father Dennis, Father Andrew. So many, a few faces are present in my mind, and this candle is burning as a sign of your presence here. Let us be united in prayer. We're very much looking forward to having you here again. Celebrating, rejoicing, praying together to Our Lady the Immaculate Conception. Thank you to all those who made this celebration possible. And uh, let us pray for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. In Lloyd's, the first words, the only words that you see here in the grotto are, I am the Immaculate Conception. Que soy era Immaculada Concepción, as we say in Patois, the local language. Those that are far away and cannot come because of the pandemic. This is what they will see as they come back to Lloyd's next year. She's waiting for you. When uh, Mary revealed her name to Saint Bernadette, she couldn't understand what it meant. She kept repeating, que soy la Immaculada Concepción, I am the Immaculate Conception without understanding what it truly meant. And I'm not sure that we too understand what it means, this mystery of the Immaculate Conception. But Bernadette knew one thing, that she was loved by that lady who revealed herself as the Immaculate Conception. She knew in our heart that it was her mother in heaven and this is how we feel when we're coming back here to Lloyd's we're coming home and when we come home when we come back there is no question about how we are how dressed we are how we feel if we have behaved or not We're just coming home. We're just coming back to see our mother. And a mother can listen to all the petitions we have, to all the burden of our lives, to all the questions and doubts, to all the fears, the dreams and hopes. I should say, that I am very much impressed when I see people coming from afar, from Great Britain and especially from Westminster, they are coming here and they stand during the night praying here before the grotto. And they tell me one of the most moving experiences we have is to serve sick people and to stand here in prayer at night, in the quiet of the grotto. They feel, indeed, that here they can open the heart to Mary, to the Immaculate Conception. They can 
Fear at home, welcomed by their mother in heaven. This is what we're doing here now for you. For all those that cannot come this year because of the pandemic, we stand here before the grotto, interceding and praying for you. Night and day. Whether it is raining or into the burning sun, we stand and we pray for you. This is our ministry. It was raining a few days ago, it's now burning. It seems to be a furnace. But we stand, and we remain, and we will remain for you and with you. And you will come next year to pray to your lady. You will come back home, interceding for those that are in need. We're praying. We are united and do the Immaculate Conception. She's listening to you. She's waiting for you. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. Amen. Dear friends uh, from the Archdiocese of Westminster, I just would like to once again welcome you to the uh, Sanctuary of Lloyds. It's uh, always a privilege to pray with you and for you. Many of us, I mean, cannot come to Lloyds. And so here we are, here we stand ourselves. This candle is a sign of your presence, of your devotion to Our Lady of Lloyds, to your commitment also to come back you won't be able to come this year but uh, this candle is going to burn for you and for all your petitions we have received petitions from so many of you humble petitions asking for God's blessing asking for a lady's protection this is what I'm going to do to bless this candle before we're lighting it and it will burn if you're not there physically it will represent all your intentions in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen let us pray O God true light who create light eternal spreading it far and wide Pour, we pray, into the hearts of the faithful the brilliance of perpetual light, so that all who are brightened in your holy temple by the splendor of this candle may happily reach the light of your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Perfect. Thank you for coming. We're waiting for you next year. <laughs>